Hey YouTube, Phil here, and I am going to be going through my top five unrevealed Pokemon from Sun and Moon. So I'm guessing by now you've all seen the um, uh, data miners leaks. Um, so I'm bringing you my top five favourites out of the ones that haven't been officially revealed yet. So I'm going to start off with a lowland golem. I just love love the look of him. Uh, obviously not too sure on the typings. Something tells me it's good, could be part electric. Looking at the uh, little bits at the top of the yellow dots. Uh, I just love his moustache. Uh, on the list also is the mushroom. Now there is a typing chart which I'll bring up in a bit. And apparently this is going to be Grass Fairy. Which is a bit unusual, you would have thought Grass Poison. So I've got a feeling this could be another one of those uh, Spore Pokemon. Uh, next on the list is one of my favourites and what I want to go through the uh, game with. The uh, what, what I'm currently calling Spiderbug. Again, according to this uh, typing chart, this is going to be Bug Ice. Now, I just love the futuristic look of this. I can I can see this in like Metroid or Halo. I, I, I just love the look of this one. Also on the, my list is uh, the Toucan. It's about time we had a Toucan on, uh, in Pokemon. Uh, again, according to the typings chart, normal flying. So what I'll do, I'll bring the typings chart now for you. I know the quality isn't brilliant. You can just about see where they are on here. Uh, so, you get the mushroom. I can remember where the mushroom is. Uh, sixth row down, you can see the grass fairy typing. The spider bug below that bug ice and the toucans on the second row um, but now I've saved my not, it's not my fa most favourite looking but for me it has the most potential in competitive and that's this little one the ice urchin or an enemy now those who saw the uh, leak just before the demo remember this little fella now, I did a video speculating this was actually an evolved form of another Pokemon well, it turns out I was wrong and uh, involves evolves into uh, this big beast now the reason I like this so much is because of the potential I see. I can see this being one of those annoying Pokemon that has spikes, poison spikes. Uh, I can see it having spiky shield. Uh, I can see recover on it. I can just see it being one of those annoying Pokemon you do everything to get rid of. Now if we go back to the typings chart. There you will see it's uh, third row up from the bottom, and it's water poison. So that brings in, uh, poison spice could easily be put onto this. Um, I also think it'd be quite nice for it to have uh, stance change. Because those two sticking up, 
it would be uh, vulnerable to an attack. And then stance change with undown to obviously defend it. So, uh, yeah, what are your thoughts on these five? I mean, th th these aren't my favourite overall, but they're my favourite unrevealed, remember? But the sea urchin is definitely up there. And I can see it being a real pain in competitive. So, uh, yeah, leave me your thoughts and, uh, in the comments below. And uh, until my next video, I will see you around. Thank you for watching.